Hey, welcome to the Great Feed Podcast, as promised. As you can see, Prime Minister is in the building. I know some of y'all who follow me, y'all probably already, uh, you know, I podcasted with the politics show. I was all on the politics thing, but I've been led to bring back Great Feed Records. And what right. better person can I kick it off with than the minister himself, Prime Minister, man? Yeah. Uh, How, you feeling, happening, Prime? How you feeling, bro? <laughs> Man, I'm feeling good, man. Blessed, highly favored as always. Love to see you, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. Hey, y'all kick in comments, questions as me and Prime go in tonight. Let me tell y'all yep. this, though. Me and Prime don't talk often. Uh, we talk every few years, but it's, it's man, always the it's same. blue moon. <laughs> every blue moon, but it's always the same. So y'all seeing him is just like me seeing him for the first time. Some people been coming <laughs> on Facebook. They were like, "Prime, Prime." I felt the same way. Matter of fact, I got I got uh in touch with Prime by a fellow artist that we have, and he was like, you know, one of the artists that submitted uh, a song for the compilations. Having hip hop compilation, if you didn't know, Volume One will be out uh, in two weeks. Uh, delivered it to the distributor. Also, Volume Two is coming because I had so much music come in, Prime. I had, right. to, uh, yeah, I had, I had to do uh, uh, volume two as well, man. So, well, I, I know I'm, I'm a, I'm just barely making volume one because I, Mr. G putting that song on there, right? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, what so made when he he sent me a song. I say, G, you need to put a song on Heaven's Hip Hop compilation. And he say, man, I got one. You're gonna be surprised. And he played it, and I heard Prime say, only the new. <laughs> And you represent him, man. I'm like, man, prime. But I say, like, man, block. send this dude number to me, man. And that's how this happened, y'all. So, man, if y'all got questions for prime, please, please uh hit us in the comment right there, man. Uh what's up, Shannon Johnson? Gabe in the building, man. Gabe, Gabe and Michael, man. They're my arch angels, uh prime. They in Ohio over there, bro. Solid producer, man. So uh when you blow the dust off them skills, Prime, you get back at it, man. I want you to get at my dude. Man, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make have a zip hop volume two. My Absolutely. stuff should be ready, and I have some stuff to submit for that one. Uh, I just barely I need, made this one, which is good. So this is, it's just a good introduction for me. Yeah, yeah. It's well, it's a call. We're getting it started, man. Uh, if you just tuning in, man, this is the new Grape Tree Podcast, man. I am Raz, your host. Of course, in the building, we got prime minister in the building, man. Uh, where we start? I want, I hey, want to hey, start off. Well, 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 basically, let's start at the beginning, man. Uh, start at the beginning. We, how, we, you know what? The beginning is this is how I came across you, Raz. Um, mm -hmm. I, when I, when I got saved, um, I, I didn't, I didn't, man, I didn't know of no, um, gospel rap or hip hop. I had left everything alone. I, and I still had the fifteens in the trunk, you know? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> you never knew that. So so I'm 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 hitting the fifteens with, with you know uh Fred Hammond and you know yeah all of that. But uh my um my 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 little brother my well my sister's little brother he, he went to a um this Christian high school but he came home with, with you and new wine CD mm. came on with both of them. He was like, "Check this out," because I guess all the, that's what the kids in the high school was listening to at that time. Wow, I had no idea. And, uh, and, that, and, and I, I if y'all like, don't know, Prime from Chicago, so he ain't yeah. talking about he ain't talking about some little town where they can't get music. We talking no, about I'm talking about the city. Well, we well, well actually, I'm, I'm from Rockford, which is right outside Chicago, but it's all the same because now they the both same. both right. cities is mixed now, so right. it's the same. It's right. the same thing. So, right. so, right. so anyway, I got that, and and uh and uh I also got um gospel gangsters. Oh man, when I I, I those three, and uh that's that's what motivated me. Uh, actually, my wife said, "Babe, you know what? You ought to, you know, you should give give up rapping. You was a rapper. You should rap for the Lord." And so uh, I was like, "Okay, so this does exist, but it wasn't it wasn't widely uh, on no a big way. platform. No way, brother. No way. It, it was it was straight grassroots." And I said, "This no does exist." So 
I, I never, never in a million years would I would I thought that I would meet you brothers or nothing like that. It was just so distant, wow. and the tapes were so underground, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and uh and so uh I, I my fourth one my fourth tape I got was SS Ma uh King Sean. <laughs> I yeah. said, oh, I could I could do this. Right. So, right. So we 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 me and my wife did a a, a demo. Well, she only did one song, and then that's when I put it out there in the, in the stratosphere. I went to California, passed out tapes. I was eating with people, like, listen to this. And I know it's gospel rap. Like, they're they going to listen to it and be like, ah, you know. Cause yeah, yeah, get rid of At it. that time, gangster rap was at its plateau, its peak, you know? At its, peak, at its peak, brother. And so uh, I, get a, I get a call from, from Diamante. And they said, "Hey, we 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 came across this this tape. We see, you know, you don't have no distribution or nothing like that." He said, "I like to pass it on to somebody who deals with this type of music." Hmm. I said, "Cool. I, I have no problem with it, but I'm trying to get a deal with them. I'm talking on the phone like what yeah, y'all yeah. do." Yeah. So anyway, I I kept on went on to work. One day I came home. My wife my wife said, "Hey, grape tree call." I was like, "What? Who?" <laughs> <laughs> what what is great tree? Huh? What is great tree? <laughs> Nolly, uh, that, no, I instantly recognized that it was the same label on the Little Rascal album. Yeah, I said, "Oh man, I'm about to do it big." <laughs> yeah. Hey, brother, let me tell you this. I, there's so many uh points just just ringing bells in what you're saying. I remember. I, the Lord called me, man. I was in the height of my career here in Houston. My my CD, my street CD. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I ain't always been no gospel rapper. I was born on the streets of Houston as a gangster rapper. Not just a gangster rapper. If my life, back life, is plagued with all kinds of gangster activity. Uh -huh. I, was rapping, <laughs> I was rapping about this stuff. And God called me out of it. You say, how did he call? How you hear the voice of God? People always say, how you hear God? I ain't never heard God audibly. But I just knew the stuff that I was enjoying, I couldn't no more. And, and mm -hmm. it wasn't like most people at a bad time or a hard time, they turned to God. Everything was going right for me, Prime. And I just, I'm like, what's going on? I, I don't know why. All my peace didn't left, bro. And, it, you know, black people, I'm not sure if it's the same with our races, but when black people get scared, we go to church, man. That's bottom line. Q made the song, scared mother, go to church. Q told you that. <laughs> He was making fun, but that is the truth. When black people get scared, we go to church. And when I went to church, bro, I don't even know what the preacher was talking about, Prime. I just knew I had to give my life to the Lord. And I put rap down. I said, man, I can't do gangster and God at the same mm -hmm. time. And God let me know it wasn't the uh, gift he had a problem with. It was the uh, message. Mm -hmm. And uh, he did that through a prophet. She came to me rhyming. God saying, come out of the crowds and come into the clouds. And she was just going rhyming. I'm like, okay. I ran <laughs> the same thing you saying happened to me. I listened to the gospel gangsters mm -hmm. and SS Mob. Mm -hmm. And that is how I say, man, I can do this, bro. It's the Ex same thing. Yes. Another point that you made when bells was ringing when you was talking. Back then, we used to listen to uh rap artists for reporting. I had to listen to a prime minister if I wanted to know how it was going down in Rockford or in Chicago. You know, right. It wasn't about entertainment with me. Uh, I had to hear what was going on in the West Coast from the West Coast gangsters. So rap was like information. It was like ghetto reporting to us. More so, uh -huh. it, you know, it evolved and dudes getting famous and, and they making money. But back then it was more so ghetto reporting than it was about money, man. It, it, it was, more, it, it, you know what? We talk more real. Yeah. And what I mean by that is, uh, uh, like like right now, they, they glorify, you know, right now the game glorify, you know, uh, selling dope, you know, all of that. Um, but but we all know that that life ain't glorified. No. We all know that. We, we, and, we know and, what and it feels and like. And we be real. If we be real, Rock Kim was known for being in the game and but he never rapped about it never he rapped about rapping i was a fiend before i became a teen i melted microphone everybody know 
Rakim was notorious in New York, but so it wasn't about glorifying that lifestyle, man. Even, even right. Pop, Pop, Pop it, it, was saying, you don't want this ain't the life for me. You know, he don't want to be in a thug life. He that was, was his that. message, like get out of there. Uh, his 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 message. Even Brenda had a baby. All of that. He 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 was speaking. He was speaking to a generation. Right now, uh, you know, it's it's sort of everywhere. But what we did, um, I but by me getting saved, I just had to relay that experience to another brother. Right. I mean, I had to compare. That's why when you, it, it wasn't just. It wasn't to glorify the life, but it was to tell you that really the life was nothing without without Christ right. in our life, you know. Right. And, and and telling you the things that we went through, and this is real talk. The, these boys out here talking about thirty clip, fifty, all of that, and same dudes that be crying like a baby as soon as they get locked up. It's, the game is different, man. And, and same and dudes, we, man. So, so we, cats. So we <laughs> old cats prime people be like, man, the young, the old dude whining, blah blah blah. The game was just different, y'all, and and it's a lot of questions. I'm, we're gonna get on some of these questions over here, but I do want to say right. to people who have supported us, man, we realized that that it was no social sites, man. So it was not this easy to talk to y'all. So for people who have been following us this long in the game, man, I know Prime feel the same, man. We thank y'all, bro. Thank I mean, you. People hit us now on social sites and say, man, red, red, bro, it breathe life into me because. We had to get letters in order to get that stuff, man. Now you can, I can hit you in three seconds, message you. Back then, I had to write a letter and mail it to Grape Tree, and you had to get it from Nolly and and cut it open and and, and read it. But it was it wasn't like that, in, you know. It ain't like that now, man. So it's a whole different game. Somebody asked a very interesting question up here. I thought it was funny, man. I'm gonna scroll back up to it. It's say, like, I'm gonna show it, huh? It's say. Like, Sir Fish, truth to society, and prime minister, all the same. <laughs> no, he, he did. <laughs> hey, hey, you, 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 you know the, the, the funny part about that story is, is no, no, is, no, wait, he got the question. Don't even say nothing. All right, how was prime and Sir Fish at the same time? How was he prime? That's the question. I seen that earlier. How, how was I? Prime I gotta let this one go, man. How was you prime and surface? <laughs> and if surface. You didn't know, if you didn't know, let me do this before you answer prime. If you didn't know, prime minister was not only prime minister. Him and his wife Pooh, they also had a group called True to Society, where he was surface and Pooh, and they went in. He went in yeah. on, on his own album. <laughs> then he got with his wife and went in. So. Answer that question. How is you prime and surface at the same Okay. Time? Um, well, we started off. Uh, Grape Tree wanted to sign the husband and wife duo. So oh. I'm because when they found out that was my wife on the tape, they flipped bread. Like, oh yeah. yeah. So it got signed as true to society. And um what happened was you you know the situation where where um wine wine got up with Nolly and they had some disagreements and wine said I'm not gonna give you another album until we right. talk you know right right and, and so that space came open and, and Nolly called me and said man I need I need another album do you know an artist or, or can you do a solo project so you say I said, I, oh, yeah I can definitely do a solo project so and I had no idea. That's how Prime Minister was born, bro. That's how I was born. And, no, <laughs> I was riding in the car, and I was I was gonna come out with Surfish, you know, Surfish. Yeah. But but my wife said, Nah. She's like, Now nah, you should do your own thing. And I said, mm. Yeah. And so, um, guy uh, that was with us, he was our my manager at the time, Ron Sanders. He said, I know what. I know what. You should change your name to Prime Minister. <laughs> and and we laughed. Yeah, we laughed at that. But I said, "Oh man, that is that's how." You know what? Sometimes, sometimes the right answer make you laugh. Sometimes that's how I know when it's on it. I'll be like, "Look how it's making it feel, bro. It gotta be right, bro." Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I said, I said, I said, that's hot. And um, I said, that's what we gonna do, yeah. Prime Minister. And so I, I I've always had different flows. So I start. I just figured. I said, "Well, Prime Minister was so so heavy, and I wanted to be. I wanted to be real grimy with Prime Minister. With yeah. True to Society, we we were sort of fun with it. Yeah, fun. 
that's still testimonial, but with prime minister, I want to be like myself. Like this is where, this is me where I came from. This is, this ain't the putting on the Sunday church clothes, you know? Right, right. And, and so that's how I came with it. Dive hats, suits and all, you know? Now, now let me be honest with you. When, when, when you and Pooh and prime minister all signed the grape tree, you know, I was a resident artist there. I was like, when I signed with Grape Tree, it was Barry G, Faze, True to Society, and God's New Creation. Uh huh. None of them existed when Grape Tree faded away. We were still there. So them was just like, you know, forerunning groups. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I'm the resident, and then I see True to Society, Prime. And then we we played the prime minister album in that vision. Doom, doom. You know, I thank the Lord. Because I was in my mind. And I was in <laughs> same. I was like, and it, I'm like, okay, dude, bringing his heat, bro. <laughs> I, you know, and wine on this side, you know, Nolly and Wine had their disagreements, man. Nolly actually drove down here. Funny story, man. Nolly actually drove down here uh, to meet with wine. He was like, wine. I know we don't have a record deal. He said, but I want to pay you for material. He said, I'll give you 10 grand for, I think it was either 20 songs, 10, mm -hmm. between 10 to 20 songs, man. He was going to give him 10 G's, bro. And Wine was like, he, he sat through the meeting and then the rest of the meeting, we was trying to convince Nolly to sign us as a group. Good news, bad boy. Mm -hmm. Who Lil James wanted to sign us? Jay Prince. But but I was in the contract with Nolly. Lil Jay wanted to sign me and New Wine as a group, but I, I was already in the contract. So I brought we brought the same offer to Nolly. And Nolly was like, Well, no, nah, man, you know, I want to sign, you know, I want to get these songs from Wine. So after the meeting, Wine was like, Wine wasn't who he is today. He needed the money. And he was like, Rad, what you think I should do? And I was like, nah, man, don't do it, man. So I'm partially the reason why you never seen another new wine album. But right. I'm the same reason why you seen a new wine album. Because the same, I'll tell you another story. When I met Nolly, tell you how I got the great trip. All right. I was a mainstream artist burning up out here in the South. I was out selling Thug Life, which was Tupac's group. And I was out selling Master P. And Nolly said, I never met Nolly. I had one last concert before I, when I gave my life to Christ, I said, man, I can't do this no more. But I still had a concert book. And bro, I was just torn. I was like, man, do I go out here and do this show, man, go curse these folk out or whatever, just to get this money, man, and end it right there. But my conscience would not let me. Most people was like, man, go on do the song, go on do the last show. But I, I couldn't. It was At that point, that was my stance for God. And, uh, Nolly came to the show and uh he seen me when I got on stage that night. It was a club, and the dude we got early to the club. Me and Wine went and mm -hmm. we got to the club early. And I told the dude, I say, Man, I'm saved now, bro. I can't I can't do this show. And he was like, Bro, two days ago, they shot up the club down the street, man. And your show, you know, I don't it didn't sell out, but it was packed. He's like, man, you don't do the show, bro. I don't know what's going to happen in my club. They're going to tear my club up, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, we were scared. I ain't going to lie. I was scared. I was like, man, these folks going to do whatever to me. But I can't do it. I can't do it. <coughs> so I told him, I said, man, I can get on stage. I had one song called Thank God on my on my uh, my mainstream album, my secular album. I said, I'm going to do this mm -hmm. one song, bro, and tell the people I can't do it or I can go home. And the club owner was like, man, do whatever you got to do. And he jumped in his car, bro. He left his own club. He didn't know what was going to happen. So I hit the stage, bro. I did thank God. And I told the people what now we consider testimony. I couldn't talk. I couldn't preach back then. I'm smoking weed every day. I'm a thug. Right. Out the street, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I can't do this, y'all. I can't continue to do this, man. God calling me, bro. <laughs> I do this song, bro. And everybody's just looking crazy. Me, wine, new wine, and Josie, we run out the club dog out the back door and we follow Nolly. We spend the night at Nolly's house. We get to Nolly's office the next day and Nolly say, man, I had a dream that a mainstream rapper was going to go gospel. And he say, in the dream, I seen gold. He said, I thought it was going to be a gold artist. 
He said, but when I seen your, your album, which was my mainstream album, my name was written in gold letters. He said, man, mm-hmm. I, he said, I believe it's you. I said, that's good, bro. I, I'm willing to take a deal. And he, he said, I want to offer you a deal. I say, I'm down. And we was like, what about wine? And this is the true, true story. Wine will, uh, will tell you this. Now he said, nah, I don't think you tight, bro. I don't want to sign you. Man. And it, broke, <laughs> it crushed him, bro. It crushed him. Me and wine had to drive back two hours to Houston. Bro, he was cursed. And from that point, he, he never felt good about not. He never, and he was the one who introduced me to Naughty through Heaven's Hip Hop Magazine. Right. So I, I eat my deal with Naughty, bro. I'm I'm in the studio recording Country First House Store, and I'm like, well, Naughty, man, you wrong about wine, bro. I, the dude tight. And he was like, all right, Raz, man, I pray about it. And so Naughty prayed, and, you know, he came to the studio next day, and he said, man, I pray, bro. And he said, God showed me a vision of wine standing over a city with his hands stretched out. He said, I believe God told me wine was going to reach a lot of people. So that's how wine got his deal with Grape Tree. He went back and signed. But, but the point when Nolly told wine he was not tight, bro, that he never, the relationship was never good. I, I, I could imagine. And He's so when it was time for royalties and wine didn't see what he thought he should see on his royalties, that was it. Oh yeah, okay. If I, if I handed him a pistol, he probably would have shot now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't know, yeah. man. This, bro, I wish we had forever because it's a lot of crazy great tree stories. People think we was like good boys rapping for the Lord. Not hey, even a bro. bunch of ex gangsters, bro. He had a bunch of ex street thugs. He did. He, he had to put up with that junk, bro. He he did, man. He did. It was <laughs> man. It. Man, when he when he realized the testimony of brothers, man, we we ain't just come out the church, brother. Nah, nah. And I, and I think a lot of people had issues with us. You know, I speak this stuff now. We all the men cross movement. You know, it was some people on the West Coast. They had a problem with us and and how we brought it, man. But people needed to understand, man. You you was a a, a gangster. The site hey. was uh, in 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 shy, bro. Doing my thing. Drugs, straight out the, out the streets of Houston. We we wasn't Bible students. We wasn't youth group attendees. We mm-hmm. were not none of that. We wasn't church deacons and none of that, bro. We was none of that, bro. Who God touched and we just brought the gospel. And obviously, man, it touched a lot of people, man. A lot of comments, bro. We thank all y'all again. I'm gonna keep telling y'all that. And, and love it too, man. And, and what people don't know, it was, it was, um, you know, when I when I got into it, first of all, first of all, when I when I signed the deal and we started doing our thing, me and my wife, two to society, um, I didn't realize the opposition that we would get. I no. thought. I thought that since I was coming, you know, talking about the Lord, you know, and I'm talking to the youth, I thought, you know, it was going to be love Everybody all around. Clap and hand you yeah. offerings and all that. I, I, not, not only that, I thought I thought uh, I would get some friendly radio, uh, uh, gospel artists who were already doing their thing was going to embrace us. Man, bro, none of that happened, Everything man. Everything the opposite, bro. <laughs> I, all the opposite. Dude, I had a lady. I had a lady introduce us at the church one time. She was reading the program, and she was like, "It says uh, Truth to Society gospel rappers." She's like, "Where's the pastor? Where's the pastor? Do he know about this?" <laughs> <laughs> I, hey. I had I had people try to pray me off stage, bro. I, I like, hey, bro, bring me here to pray me off the stage. <laughs> hey, dude, dude came on my he came on the platform prime and say bro i don't want to he said man i don't want to scare you bro but there's some ladies in the hallway they trying to pray you off the stage bro. and i'm like what y'all brought me here for this bro we, hey, hey, let's get to this question though man this is my man zig madison also zig madison is on the heavens hip-hop uh compilation of volume one man zig say how did prime and antonius link up Oh man, you know what? Yeah, and man, Antonius was just talking about this. I and man, Antonius is right now just like you, Raz. We talk every blue moon, but but yeah. when we talk, 
it's the same love. Like we ain't never missed the beat, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh and so uh it's good, bro. It's and the same with is, me and him. It's the same with me and him. Yeah, yeah. I was I was a secular rapper at the time. Uh, I was opening up for for Ghetto Boys, Ice Cube, did a little tour with, with uh Bobby Brown. Uh, I I was a secular rapper back then, but this guy that signed me, um, uh, he signed me, he had another group called Dog MC. Mm -hmm. Dog MC was a cute dog, but he was a rapper. Antonius was one of his dancers. Antonius was like one of he was the youngest dude in the crew, man. Uh, I gotta get him now. I ain't yeah. know that. <laughs> he started off as a dancer, bro. <laughs> and so and, I gotta and, get so, him when I if you yeah, watch Antonius, yeah. I, I, let me say this before you say this. I, I don't know if it's next week, uh, but the next podcast we got Mr. Real. I wanted to say that, but go ahead, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all right, Mr. Real too. Uh so so um what happened is um Antonius somehow in the midst he's I got saved. He 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 saw me lead a lead a whole thing. Um uh, so that that's that's part of his testimony. He, he said, Man, I saw you go, man, and he was like, Man, leave that behind. You start rapping for the Lord. He was like, Man. And, and he said, and I was working on my craft because he was going to come out on that same label I was on. Mm. It's crazy ironic, man. Yeah, yeah. And we we happened to be walking down the street one time, and uh, and and he's and I bumped into him, and he was he said, "Man, how how's that label, uh, Grape Tree?" I said, "Oh man, it's straight. They they doing me straight." He said, "Yeah, because I think I'm finna sign with them now." I, he came out the blue, so I'm thinking like, how he even know about Great Tree? You know, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, what, how, what do you even know? But he was like, I don't even know how how Nolly even got in contact with him or vice versa. Um, a business man, bro. <laughs> but 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 what it was though, when Nolly called me, I said, he said, hey, uh, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about signing this dude at. I said, oh yeah. He, I said he was telling me he been trying to get on. I said, yeah, man. I said he cold, man. He cold root, right? Yeah. So, so anyway, as we as was I on his album first, or he was on mine. Do you remember that? I, I can't remember. I Whatever the case may be, your, maybe he was on your album. I don't remember. Well, you oh no, he he was on my album first. So this is what happened. So so um. What happened was I, I I had him come in and he he um he was on my album. He did he did a couple things on my album. I can't remember. But after that, Nolly was like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna get at him. When you wanna do your own album. So that's how that's how Nolly solidified the the deal with him right after that. And so Antonius Kane did his album. I was on there, and the funny thing is. The dude he danced for is on his on his first album. His, his name is Dog MC on uh Gang Stop. Change your ways. <laughs> oh man, I can't that is bro, so I, you know what I tried man. to get in touch with him before this, this interview, but I'm glad I did because I got some junk <laughs> poke him in the chest with when I see him, bro. Bust me one of them dance moves, bro. Hey, this is cry. I got another question for you. I got another question, man. My manager. Brought this up because I've been talking to him all week about our interview. Money. Now, on my side of the game, I was like, I heard Nolly broke you off a piece of change that it sent a wave through Grape Cheekers. I'm like, man, I ain't ever seen that type of money, bro. <laughs> and so I ain't going to, we ain't going to talk about amounts because that's not it. Okay. All right. But it was a lot of artists that did not get done right financially. Uh, bro, I, I, you know what? It's it's it's. Uh, to, I'm gonna be honest with you, Raz. From 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 my point of view, uh, it, it's it, it's hard to believe, and also um, it 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 saddens me because that ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't the Nolly I knew. That ain't that ain't the one I dealt with. Um, but everybody was saying, man, he ain't, I ain't getting paid. And I'm like, man, come on, stop playing. You know, something must be wrong on your hey, end. Hey, yeah. let's, we go, let's be the devil advocate on both sides. Now, now is a shrewd businessman. 
If mm -hmm. you walk in the room and you got more knowledge than the last man, now they're going to treat you different. I believe that. If you don't have that knowledge, he's not going to give it to you. He's going to deal I with believe you based that. on the knowledge you have. I know that about knowledge. Man. Number well, two, see. Number two, though. Let me, Go let me ahead. Say Everybody did not sell as well as you, myself, wine. And so some people were not do money, but they may have felt they've been do money. Yeah. So I'm going to balance the scale a little bit. I, I, I thought, the, I no thought the same too. But then, then when, when wine told me he ain't get his paper, that was different to me. Yeah. Uh, it was yeah. different for wine to say that because. Because he was so big. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it was a misunderstanding. I think, I think what happened, and I remember when the first time the heat came in between, as I as I told you, wine wasn't down with Nolly from day one because Nolly didn't feel wine Dude, deserved to be right. where he was. He felt like he had to go to God in order to see that. So that was already, but step two. Back then, y'all, it was no streaming. We had to sell physical product at our show. And the record label, who at this time was Nolly Williams, he pressed the product and he would give it to us to sell at shows. And then we would have to give him his cut like a distributor has to give you your share. Exactly. Well, wine took a bunch of product in. And when his first royalty came in, Nolly was like, hey, man. I got a check here for this amount, but you owe me this amount. So if you send me that amount, I send you this amount, or this amount going to cancel out that amount. And Wine didn't understand that, bro. He, he was like, you holding money back for my family. Man, I, uh, that was it. That was, <laughs> Boy, you sound just like him, him, bro. That's when he came in. So I don't know. I, ain't, I wasn't in Wine's books, but mm -hmm. I do know that's that may have been a misconception that wine didn't get his money. That argument may have started from that. Not to say Nolly didn't make money and he didn't owe wine more money, but I do know mm -hmm. that's how it first got started that want that Nolly owed. I, it was a misconception. We are well, if well, you're in the record business and people cut records, they pay for your stuff. <laughs> you have to pay them back before you get paid, man. <laughs> exactly. Hey, look. Yeah. <laughs> or or you just gotta get smart. And and I I I, cho I chose to get smart. I, I brought I bought my own uh you, printer you, press you produce your own record. CD you copy. Your own record. <laughs> I I hey I'm like it's my material. I'm pressing up and selling myself. You you wrote way. different out of all out of all the artists you wrote, you you really came with a crew because not only Antonio's you brought truth to society, also uh uh, Christ for real, who was Christ for real, Warren, Mr. Real. All them came with, with your crew. Yeah, they came with your crew. So, you know, and in and, my and, life, and, you were a leader to me. You were, you just was not another artist on Grape Tree. You came, you came as a leader, and so that's and, how and, I always and that's, respected and looked at you. That's the respect that that Nolly gave me because even when, even when uh, he sent me uh, the the deal. Uh, I, I was I was fortunate enough to me and my wife was both working at Chrysler at the time. Right. So I, I mean money was no issue. Right. Um, so we was able to go get us an attorney, be like, hey, pay him to look at this, negotiate with Nolly, and and get that out the way. Mm -hmm. Um and, and 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 what happened um uh, is later on down the line, um uh, Christopher Play Martin played from House Party. Uh, from Kid and Play, he became our manager, and he he gave me a lot of knowledge, mm -hmm. a lot of knowledge concerning the the music uh, uh, industry. So, as a as a as a gospel artist, as a gospel rap artist, I we was up to do um, to renew our deal. I think my deal was like two years with him or something like that. Yeah, and we were up to we were up to do it. And he was like, nah, he was like, cause because I was getting ready to sign on pretense of sales and pretense of you know getting everything from the back end. He was like, nah, 
We need a hundred thousand up front. Uh, we need fifty thousand for publishing. That was play. Yeah. And I'm looking at I'm looking at him like, dude, like I'm like, man, we we it, it don't happen like that over here, bro. Yeah, like it, we are playing with your type of money on this side, bro. <laughs> but little announced to me, it was because he made the deals. He made the deals with Nolly. Um, yeah. and so we really, I really, at that, at that point in time, it became business. Yeah. Well, well became, let me say this. I will say this at the time play came in the picture. I mean, now he had, he had made, I don't, I ain't in his bank account. I don't do mm -hmm. nobody books, but now it was probably in the millions by that time because he had a nine room mini mansion. I remember the mansion. He had a pot belly pig in the in the backyard. Didn't he? With a yeah. studio in the back. I mean, yeah. with a, he had yeah. a great piece. So he he had loot. And so when play came into into the business, I think Nolly had money. He may have not had the type of money we talking about, but Nolly was the type of person that, you know, he'll give you a deal worth a hundred. He ain't gonna give you a hundred. But right. by the time the deal ends, you would have been paid a hundred. <laughs> And so right. I, I don't know. I don't know. I know he did have, he did uh, at one point in time for y'all who didn't know. And then we're going to get to this question. Nolly was in rap pages. He was in Source Magazine. He was the number one uh, gospel Christian hip hop label in the world. And collectively, in the world. collectively with all of us, he sold over a million units. So he did see me. In the world. And, and, if, and if there was ever accolades or uh, awards that was ever given, or anything, uh, Grape Tree was the first to do it. Grape yeah. Tree was the first to hit the shelf. The first, when I say the first, I mean the absolute first. It wasn't nobody out there. Competition right. was none. Right. People it, had, it was people just had us. rap artists, but they didn't have a rap label. Label. They didn't have a rap label. Because right. there, there, there were other artists, and, and, and I, I thought, same thing, go back to the thing. Uh, there were other artists I thought that we was going to we gonna get together and we gonna collab, man. But they, ain't, they ain't really want too much to do with us. <laughs> hey, hey, we got. To, I wanted to talk about that, but 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 we on a good cause cause people think it was our love, man. Y'all friends, y'all friends, y'all loved it, us. The industry hated us though. Look, hated man, look, I'm 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 out there. I'm 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 sharing the same stage with you. I'm doing numbers just like you, and when I come to talk to you, you tell me, uh, get, uh, holler at my manager, dude. Hey, turn the show on, me, brother. Yeah, man. I mean, cold brothers, man. I, I ain't know how to take that. Again, we from the streets. I'm like, we can't I'm, bring. I'm from the hood you. too. You know what? <laughs> I, I I knew I knew exactly how to take it. <laughs> Go ahead, then, nigga. Roll out. <laughs> Peace, man. I'm, hey, man. I ain't I ain't yeah. gonna run up behind you, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing me. Already, already. And, and they can hey, let me see. get this question. Let me get this question. Go did ahead. You, did either you produce your own music? If not, who primarily worked behind the scenes on your own? Uh, uh, oh, we all know who that is. Yeah, yeah. We had Black Gold was a, a resident. Black producer. Gold. Uh, I didn't produce my own music. I produced one album musically, and it was well after Grape Tree. Uh, it was called The Streets of White. It was the only one that I ever did my production on. Uh, Black Gold was like the resident producer. My the first resident. album, uh, I brought my mainstream producer in it, uh, Tiger, who did uh, Controversy. Yep. Album, so, uh, and, and who else? Um, what, what's the dude from Atlanta? Uh, Marcelo Nine. Marcelo Nine. Marcelo Nine produced my double award nominated album, uh, Glory to Glory. It's the one most people, if you go to Apple Music, it's the one that pop up first. That was the one that was nominated for a double award. It was produced by Marcelo Nine, who was an Atlanta producer. He was from Indiana, but he, he went to Atlanta to work with L.A. Face and Tony Mercedes. And, you know, he took a liking to Grape Tree. I was one of the first uh, uh, artists he produced off of Grape Tree. His relationship with Naughty didn't go well, so he didn't stick around as a resident producer. But, mm -hmm. yeah, now nah, we had a bunch of people work on our stuff, man. Uh Again, there was no social sites back in that day. So people heard about Grape Tree. It was it was like, 
I, I still I still operate like this, Prime. People be telling me, oh man, this dude buzzes. I believe when you walk into the streets, if you if somebody's really hot, you're gonna hear them in the streets. Mm -hmm. If I don't hear you in the streets, bro, I don't care how many likes you bought, how many views you bought. If I can't turn a few corners and hear somebody playing your music, bro, I, I don't believe it. I don't right. believe it, bro. I don't believe it, bro. <laughs> but yeah, uh, man, we getting close to the end of the hour. I'm, I'm going to go a little while longer, but man, it's it's forever. We could talk about this. Let's, let's go back to this, though. Let's go back to the industry, crime because I knew not only did gospel artists like you know we it was some dudes that you swear would have been funny and it was dudes that you swear would have uh been funny except the, like Kurt Franklin every time I ran into Kurt on the stump Kurt was like one of us bro and, bro and he he sang he, choir songs with choirs but he was like one of us bro he was definitely one of us man Kurt, Kurt was one of us bro he he was like a, definitely. A, a, a a negro off the street he he was that real with us man and uh but it was some people that you rappers you know the gangsters gospel gangsters me and chili man. Man, me and chili are like this today me and chili talk Every day, but chili baby, I couldn't touch him when they was when they was rolling. Man, it wasn't so much chili. It was it was the move. It was solo. They was, and these dudes was like, like some of the comments you guys pay us to respect. That's how I looked at the gangsters because them was the ones that showed me I could do this, man. Man, and they I was heard opening doors, gangsters, bro. Like, See, you they, 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 they was born again believe King James. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh, these dudes going hard for God. This is real. <laughs> They made me believe I could do it. So when I Hell. saw them, I was like, God, man, y'all the gospel gangsters. And we had a good relationship, but we wasn't as close as I wanted to be. Uh, so was other rappers. I mean, the Tunnel Rats and, and especially Crowd Movement, bro. Them dudes like well, hurt my feelings, you, bro. Them dudes you know what, hurt though? My feelings, bro. I, I wasn't as close. I wasn't as close as to artists, but I, 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 knew, I knew real artists, though, when, when I seen them. Um, yeah. when, I, when I first... Um, that gospel gangsters, it was up in Milwaukee. Yeah, it, it was all love. It was like, yeah. hey, what up, what up, yeah. Prime? We, we sat at the table and it was just love, man. And I yeah. I knew that they was they was the same. They ain't come from they ain't come out the uh pulpit, man. Nah, they, nah, nah. Them, nah, man, nah, them nah, brothers came nah. from the street, from nah. the hood. Chili, like, Chili is real as they get, man. I ain't had a chance to just kick get it in with solo like me and Chili get it in. Chili's uh -huh. my brother, bro. Uh, that's my brother. Shot, shot, Chili. O double G. Shout man. out to you, bro. Yeah, they, they, they <laughs> so, really so legit. they, 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 really they were, they was real and legit, and they was, they was groundbreaking. And it was other, other artists out there that uh, I I'm tried to somebody, to. I'm gonna tell you somebody who we wouldn't have thought that was super real. Grits. Who Grits didn't do street music? Grits. Man, them dudes, I met from day one, bro. It was they was us. When I met hey, them, bro, coffee. Bro, we did hey. show together, they was us, man. Look, I I and they were they was on a different plateau. They they was in the uh in a different market. They was in the they was getting pushed in the contemporary market. Right. Um and and, and, that, and that was through, that was because of Toby Mac, you know, uh behind them in the sense. He he was able to push them that way. Right. Uh, uh, we had problems getting in that into that market. They ain't gonna put us on radio. I, I couldn't. It's as good as I look. I know people hey. say, "Oh, you should be a gang." Look, I don't, they they wouldn't deal with me, bro. They <laughs> wouldn't. They, bro, they wouldn't even think about playing. And, and we had some anointed music, like yeah, like like we had songs that 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 are right to now. You. you see the people watching this, man. It ain't because. We famous, it's because these were lives that was touched, man. And we love y'all so much, man. But that was the power of the music, bro. That was the, it was power, the power of the music, of the music man. People, the people just getting touched. Yeah. Uh, bro, I, I mean, it, it, and to us, like somebody mentioned something, uh, we talked about uh, performance, man. You could call it a performance, but but when, when we showed up, bro, our, our intentions were different. We had we had a we had a specific motive, man. We was we was gonna preach the gospel, the good news. Some lives is gonna be changed. 
we we ain't come to sell. I'm finna rock the house, man. Yeah, man, nah, I'm finna nah, sell. Nah. I'm finna sell two thousand CDs. You know, nah, we ain't nah. come with that. Nah. We came. We came with a specific. If if I knew somebody' life got touched, changed, that's what blessed me, and that's what opened the doors. Because when we did this thing, there was nobody but God opening doors for us. No it, it TV no, shows. No, no media. No radio. No interview. Man, nothing. Nothing. I remember the uh we we God opened the door for us to be in the source. I don't know if you remember that. We yes, was in sir. there um yes, as, we, as, I, I was uh actually in uh the article that Kurt busted out. Kurt, Kurt did stump and source covered him and they had a write up, not even let a write up of me get in there at that time and then he he had an ongoing relationship with source and rap pages, bro. Cause now uh -huh. he was like us. He he wasn't trying to be a gospel hero. He was trying to get into the mainstream with this stuff, man. You it know? was trying. He was yeah. working. Yeah. And, and, and we had, we was able to do a spread and stuff like that. And then I remember the I remember the source magazine uh dude. And that was so big, that was a big moment in, in my career is when the source, I don't know how people know about the source magazine today. But the source was the biggest thing. If you landed in the source, you made it, period. And they flew down to uh, do a photo shoot yeah. for the cover story uh, of Great Tree, well, Christian rap. They put Christian rap because they yeah. put us in with Cross Movement, yeah. uh, T-Bone, uh, Gospel Gangsters. But, but we got in there. Yeah, you see, I'm, I remember we got in there, and that was like one of the biggest uh, milestones. Anyway, um, yeah. So let's take another question, man. We yeah, get yeah, out. yeah, yeah. It said, "Did you ever think about dissing another Christian or secular artist back in the days?" No, the beef <laughs> culture was not during our time, and according to us. I, according to me, Raz, because I see a crazy mm -hmm. comment. Somebody saying bump cross movement. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, we're not talking. Didn't they say that? Somebody Didn't else said that? Somebody to comment. You can get, hit me in the DM if you want to see the cross got, movement that bad. And we can have I, a real I ain't got nothing bad to say about, about them boys. Nah, nah. But beef culture was not around at them times. And we didn't handle beef on wax back then. No, so I, I we had to show up. Wax if I had a beef with you. I took to your city. And then we 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 see if it was really a problem. That's right. how we, we dealt with beef back then. We finna we finna sit down and talk. We finna yeah. we finna sit down and we we gonna see see it's it's a lot of cowards today. They ain't men. Men gonna men gonna say, hey bro, well, you know what's happening with this and that. And either you gonna explain yourself, uh, and you are gonna let them you know set the record straight. So we ain't gonna be on that, or yeah. we gonna be on that. Right. Well, it was it was either that or. The, that we ain't, we ain't go behind, put on the record, and I'm gonna talk about you and your moment, new moment, all of yeah. that. Nah, nah that's, that's, for rap. that's for sure. I, I never was a a performing artist. I never was. I've learned to perform be, to make my shows entertaining, so people won't feel like I'm boring. But I was never an entertainer, man. Uh, I was in the game to touch lives with my music, man. So. To, if somebody got beef with me, for me to pull it out in front of y'all to show y'all, that was not my thing. If anything, and it, it would have it defeated the whole purpose on why we was out there anyway. It, um, anyway. And, and if somebody my, my, got beef, man, why you 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 take that out to the parking lot? That's where the phrase "take it to the parking lot" came. So and, everybody don't see what's up. We can and take it to the parking lot. My, I can say this one important thing is, I don't I don't think I don't think. We we was all in our own lane, Ras. When I think about it, cause cause when when you and Juan introduced me to um to Houston to that Southern man, that was something different for me. Yeah, it, you get what I'm saying. Y'all was yeah. on a different man, different plateau. Like it's gr it's a different grimy down south than yeah. it is in Chicago. It's but but we 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 had a we had a each one of us had we almost had like a focused audience like. We right. knew our focus, and, and so it wasn't. It, it wasn't no competition in that. Right. We, we ain't had time for no competition. Nah, it, it, like it wasn't. It wasn't enough of us, man. And the reason, let me say this to clear this up, because a lot of y'all streaming, y'all know me, and y'all know I ain't gonna. 
if I, I back whatever I say. Back then, it, the reason this meant so much with different people that didn't take to us alike is the reason it hurt me, it was not enough of us. We needed to stick together. Exactly. So I show up I and, and it's, it's three of us against a hundred and you looking at me like I'm not done. I'm like, what, bro? Yeah. I know this about Nolly. Nolly was not about uh, hermeneutics or whatever people own. If you believe Christ risen and you have repented for your sins and you love God, you are qualified to be a grape tree artist. I love that, bro. And that, that was is it. What new grape tree is about man. I I'm not in your pastor's uh, uh, library trying to see what he's teaching you every Sunday. If you can look me in the eye and say Christ is my Lord and Savior, man, and I want to spit some some music for him, then you are qualified to be a new grape tree artist. Man. And and, it, and it's up to you. It's up to you to learn. I, I encourage everybody to 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 uh, seek God for yourself. Yeah. Don't don't seek him for what I tell you. Don't 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 seek them for what nobody tells you. Seek them right. for yourself, because then you'll get an understanding and you'll get a wisdom, and you're gonna get the direction to where he sent you, not right. not 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 the direction the way he's sending somebody else. It might right. be totally different from them. I, I had um, a question before this one. It said, "Who are you listening to today?" You know what? Uh, let me be. Let me be totally. Uh, Sometimes, sometimes when I'm riding, I have the radio on, and it's it's just regular radio. I I always like to see what's out there as far as music sound and stuff like that. But yeah. that's not my focus. The majority of the time, this may sound crazy, is I ride in silence. Uh, I I don't. I told my wife. I said. I said that's what music music is uh, is programming. It's yeah. it's the programming. Yeah. So the majority of my time. I spend in silence. Um, yeah. I, I do, I do, I do have a daughter. Uh, my daughter does uh, secular, secular music, you could say. Uh, but, but, and I support her. I support her to the fullest. I, I go to her video shoots. I, I, uh, I manage her whenever she go and do an appearance and stuff like that. I support her. And somebody told me like, Prime, but what you do, you know, where you came from, you doing the gospel. You know, why you support your daughter? I said, first of all, for one thing, I mean, two things. First of all, she's my daughter, you know, and if God loved me when I was a sinner, just, and I was lost and he loved me just to lay down his life for me. I said, uh, and, and, and that's when I was lost. Okay. Yeah. So, so maybe she's not gospel rapping right now. One yeah. thing I know she's not doing is she's not going against God. And, and when I'm saying that is she don't cuss in her rhymes. And stuff like that, and she's not selling her, selling her sexism uh, yeah. out there. She's just rapping as a regular young lady. And yeah. I said this. I said if she happens to get a deal, I said what that does is that'll help me open the doors for other artists who is in the kingdom. Say, hey, go. let's get him in there. You, you I, see what I, I'm saying? Everybody has to have their own appointment uh, with God. And I used to say this when I was on the stump, man. God don't have grandkids, man. So. None of my kids picked up music and, and I never forced them. I never brought a Christian rapper home for them. If God got his own appointment with all of them, all my kids are grown and gone now. They all out of the house. Me and my wife are empty nesters, man. So I get it a hundred percent of what you're saying. Let me answer the question who I'm listening to. I listen for the anointing. I ain't gonna lie, I listen to some of the new stuff I hear. It sounds good. I like some of the stuff that's anointed, and, and you get both. You get both. Who, who's? I heard some stuff from Swoop that was uh, anointed. Uh, I know Gabby ain't popular right now because of the uh, uh, issues he got into. Uh, but I, I listen. See, see Raz, you mentioned an artist, man. I ain't never even heard of. It, man, I, I can hip you on. I can I got to keep my ear to the street. Uh, music is therapy for me. I tried uh -huh. to read this stuff, man. I tried Who else to rap. Bro, I, I, I mean, if, keep, when I don't rap. And I don't create music, bro. It's like I'm constipated, bro. I'll be around this mud. So I started seeing what's what's current, what's what's going on now. Who is who, 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 who else? else? I mean, I know it's a given. It's a given. I, I, I it's a given that I listen to Lecrae because he opened yeah. the door. Oh, we got it's stories, bro. I, I we at the yeah. hour. I can't. We gonna get out of we, here. We, we'll talk about him later. Yeah, I'll talk Craig, about him Craig too. My dog. For, for y'all, <laughs> we ain't dissing. 
and, and we don't talk. <laughs> no, we ain't. I, we ain't this, I, I, I don't even talk to him. I haven't even talked to him. I, uh, talk to I him haven't even talked to him, but I, I found to out. Let that, me say this that, to the crowd. Uh, when I first met Lecrae, he didn't even have a record deal. Yeah, and, uh, see, and I told, I'd say, man, I love the passion in you, bro. I believe God gonna bless you. I must be a prophet, right? And, and I, I was told when I first met him, I didn't even know I met him. <laughs> but but he, he he was understudy. He used to look up to us, even if he never said that, man. Lecrae, he, it doesn't matter. And he's it still doesn't with matter. Fathers, man. So I, I pay him a, high, uh, a bunch of respect. I'm I'm gonna take this question, Prime. We're gonna we're gonna get ready to close out and say, when are y'all coming back? I I have a mixtape coming out uh, weeks from now. Uh, I never left. If you go dig into the files, you're going to always find me putting out something every year. I don't go viral. Uh, I think I'm cute enough. I should go viral, but I guess I just don't do enough, man. So it, it is what it is. When you when you coming back, Prime, I've been asking you that since we hooked up. I watch your knees on the block. Temptation <laughs> steady calling suit. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, but hey, that, <laughs> hey, Prime got a verse on Heaven's Hip Hop. The boy go in. It's it's about 40 bars and the boy go in. Then I, I, hey, I couldn't stop, man. I couldn't stop. Much, it's hard, bro. It, it, and you know, you in. know, I know how to make a song. He but made but look, put the, he made me put him on the, the show first. I said, man, I heard that verse. I said, man, I gotta get prime. He gotta be on the new Grape Cheap podcast first, bro. So and don't worry, and I'm coming back. So check this out. I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be on, on Heaven's Hip Hop too, but the other stuff that I'm working on. It is. It, I'm just keeping it in raps because when I hit, I want everybody to be like, "Boom!" Now that's prime. Yeah. Uh, Mr. G. Reality, he's such a good brother. When he called me and asked me to do it, my first thought was like, "Nah, wait till wait till my stuff come out." But then I said, "Nah, this brother, this brother been a blessing so many times. He, I mean, he just been a great supporter." Uh, great, told him that great today. brother in ministry. G, we didn't, we didn't stage talking about you. I told him that today. I say, G, man, you deserve honor, bro. All of the old heads stamp, G. There's yeah, not, he not, do, man. Us. G that made his way around to get in everybody's life, bro, and we all got to pay him high honor, bro. Man, high that honor. that's what you call a good brother. When yep. you meet a good brother, you keep a good brother. That, that brother... He he he's uplifting, and so when he said, "Hey, Prime, hey, uh, uh, uh would you be on this track?" Because you know I'm really putting my all into this album, and, and I want to get specific people on it. And you was one of them, you know. Uh, God put on my heart to ask you. I said, "You know what? I right, go ahead, uh, sent it. I you know, and uh, I I ain't had no studio, so I I took it. I even took it to a high quality studio, man, where they charge like sixty dollars an hour." I, I really want that to. Picture I used on you, huh? Yeah, I, I really want to invest in them. So, uh, I, I did that, and so hopefully, when when you re when 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 you release it, when we releasing the Heaven's Hip Hop Volume One, it's it, it's going to it's it should have went to my distributor today, but the mask is done. It will be delivered tomorrow, so it will be streaming on all locations in about two weeks. Now, listen, let me say this. If you did not make volume one, don't be upset because volume two is right behind it. I had so and I'm gonna be people, on volume two, so y'all gonna y'all gonna be you, right you beside. You want to be on volume two with Prime because ain't nobody heard Prime in ten years. So you want to be on volume two with Prime? I, I, I had look, so many look. people flood me with with music and and bro. I heard I had got so much man. Raz, thank you for bringing Brave Chief. Blah, blah blah blah. I couldn't cut it off at volume one. I got to keep it running, man. So please, y'all continue to submit uh, music, man. The new Grape Tree is here. Don't be, don't be, surprised, if I, don't be surprised if I pull a pool up in that joke. Come on with it. I want to <laughs> sign y'all. I want to re-sign y'all the new Grape Tree, bro. Can we man, talk, bro? Man said he want to sign us. Can we talk? <laughs> pool, like, give me my honey grand that Nolly <laughs> owe me. <laughs> <laughs> Then we'll what? talk about some great tree, huh? Show me the money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we gotta get out of here, proud. We gotta get out of here, bro. Love everybody, man, that tuned in. Thank y'all. Thank you for having me, Raz. Oh, love on, man. this man. On, I can't do this without you, bro. This ain't the last time. I want to say this, Gabe Robinson. Say respect to y'all all for real, man. Gabe 
is a giant in production, bro. My next, uh, any probably any album you hear from this point out, Gabe is one of my lead producers, bro. Smoke I think I got some bro. tracks from him, man, that I just, I, I haven't purchased any tracks yet. Gabe is guy, bro. What he, I got. He's one of my resident producers, bro. I, I'm probably never do another project without Gabe. Shout out to Gabe and Mike. His brother, man, uh, they my arch angels, bro. Any of y'all talking that trash to me while I'm with Gabe and Mike, y'all watch <laughs> out. These dudes six feet, and they don't mind putting their hands on somebody. And I'm glad. You know, my manager is too. Jay, Jay's a big guy. I, I, all these people on here talking this trash, whatever y'all don't like something I say, when I come to your city, just come see me, bro. Come see me. Oh. <laughs> hey, we're gonna get out of here, man. This is the ah. new podcast, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Record, I couldn't get this type of response from my own podcast, man. It's probably you, Prime. Next time I do this, number's gonna cut in half or whatever. I don't uh, know. No, hey, no, Mr. no is next, uh, though. Who, 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 who next? next? Who next? Mr. Real, Mr. Real, me and Mr. Real. Oh, man, y'all got, got, Mr. Mr. Real got a lot to say. Yeah, yeah, man. Please tune That's in. My dude. Matter of fact, I, I might throw a third camera in here and throw you in on the next one, bro. Hey, want. and I'll be there. You want to sit in, there. bro? We can do it like that, man. For sure, for sure. Yeah, man. We appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. We're going to get out of here. Much love, man. To Christ be all the glory, man. If you do not know Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, hey, don't take your mama's God, your daddy's God, your granny's God. You hit your knees and say, God, I need to know if you real. Show me you real. And this is what I tell you. God will never not take you up on that offer, but believe what he show you. Believe what he tell you, because it is him, man. Uh, I want to say that, man. Peace out to y'all prime. Appreciate having you, brother. Hey, appreciate the love. And I, I'm going to dip in the comments later, and i answer most of the questions Please on do, there. Bro. Please do. Hey, appreciate everybody for tuning in tonight, man. This is the new Grape Tree Podcast, and we are out. Peace.